Hey guys, I'm pleased to announce that from Unity 2018.3.9, Projector Simulator finally works under HDRP. Uh, there are a few things to bear in mind though, which I'm going to talk through in this video. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, change one or two parameters in the HDRP settings asset. Uh, when you first import the package and load up the example scene, you're going to see something like this. Um, uh, notice how the images are all blurry, even though the projector resolution is set to a high value. Uh, in the HDRP settings asset, there is a section for cookies. Uh, by default, all the cookies are limited to 128 pixels squared, which is why our projected images are of poor quality. You should increase this to the highest resolution you want to use in your projectors. Usually 1024 or 2048 is enough. There is also a setting for the number of cookies Unity reserves space for. Under HDRP, each projector has exactly one spotlight, so I'm going to set this to 4, as we have 4 projectors in our example scene. If you use cookies elsewhere in your project, you probably want to allow for these as well. Now that we've done that, we can see our images are back to the proper quality. Uh, the other thing to bear in mind is that if we have too much vertical lens shift, uh, we can run into issues with shadowing at the edges of the image. Uh, so if you t look at this ball, for example, as it just transitions across the edge. Uh, this is a bug with pyramid spotlights under HDRP. To demonstrate this, we have another scene called Dodgy Shadow Portrait Fix. In this scene, we have a regular projector in the middle with lots of vertical lens shift applied. On the left, we have a standard pyramid spotlight with the same aspect ratio as the one in the center projector. Notice how they both exhibit the same shadowing bug at the edges of the images. So as this happens on the standard spotlight, we can assume it's a bug in HDRP, which will be fixed in the near future. This was still present in the latest version I tried, which is the 2019.3 beta. Uh, luckily, we have a workaround, um, as demonstrated by this projector on the right. Here, I've rotated my source image by 90 degrees and the projector by 90 degrees in the opposite way. In order to shift the image down, I'm now using horizontal lens shift instead of vertical lens shift. This prevents the spotlight shadows from breaking. I know it might be a bit of pain doing this, but hopefully Unity fixed the issue soon. As one other note, um, as we've had to do away with the legacy method, because it wasn't compatible with HDRP, we've had to also do away with keystone correction. So now we're only ever using the shader based method. Uh, everything else should behave the same. So. Um, Thank you for your patience and have fun.